a certain person thought of himself, lived in Israel, which was from Antwerp, and Joe gave him Eddie Kedushin. And he felt it was a slight. As he says, he plays the, uh, the religious card. He says, you know, I'm not sure if I'm even, I'm kosher. I'm not going to be a witness because, you know, I sit on, I'm a dayan, I make things which are, you know, are not correct. So, you know, if you want your witness to be 100%, I don't think you should use me as a witness. He's, he's a great topic. But the answer is he, he was insulted and they all gave him this lesser covet. They give him a bracha, messes up the bracha. This, this, this great, this, this personality. Okay. We're holding on Mami Gimel in the days. This is not recorded history. It's not recorded, but it is. Thank you. Alan, 33B. You should enjoy the Mars as much as you enjoy your stories. Okay. Until now, we've had two arguments with Rebbe and Shem Gamliel. If you appoint an agent to deliver a get, and you cancel the agent, not in his presence. Although Rebbe Gamliel has said that you should inform the agent that he's been canceled, or the woman before she receives the get, what happens if the person did not adhere to the takona? Is it a valid cancellation? Of? Rebbe says it's canceled. Right? It's canceled. Rebbe Shimon Gamliel says no. You have a court best in it. If, if the Chazal say you're not supposed to, so how could you just ignore Chazal? Therefore, the get can be given if the husband does not cancel, does not inform the agent that he's canceled. That was one Machlux. Rebbe and Rishim Gamliel. And there was, we had another argument here that if a person appoints ten witnesses, any one of them could sign in the get, and he cancels some of them, not in the presence of others, is it a valid cancellation or not? Right? So we had two, two approaches. Either, of course, is it a, do we say, so therefore, according to Shim Gamliel, you, have, you could have a tragedy. Of course, the others are unaware of it, they'll sign, mm -hmm. and they're really not, no longer qualified. And according to Rebbe, it's not, because even though you cancel two of them, the other is still considered functioning witnesses, so they have the capacity. Or we say the ten man rule, right? The way it's pointed, that's the way it has to be undone. See, so there are two distinct arguments. Right? Two distinct arguments. How do you rule? You can rule one independent of the other. Right? You can rule like Rebbe in one, and you can rule like Roshim Gamli in the other. So, Omer Rabshum Bar Yehuda, so Rabshum will use it, Shamit Minei Dura Tarki. Of the two rules. Of the two arguments. Two, two, two arguments. separate arguments. Each one's independent of the other. Right? right? Each one's independent <coughs> of the other. So Rav Shumar Yehuda says, Shamit Minei du Rababa Tarti. I heard two, two rulings. I heard two things from Rababa. Chad the Karebi Chad Roshim Gamliel. He ruled in one instance like Rebbe, and the other instance like Shim Gamliel. Meaning, there's two arguments. One argument he rules like Rebbe, the other one he rules like Shim Gamliel. Melo Yadana Hai Karebi Hai Karebi Shim Gamliel. And I'm not sure in which instance did he rule like Rebbe, which rule like Shim Gamliel. Wasn't sure. Okay? Meaning, did he rule like Rebbe that the cancellation is a valid cancellation, although the agent is not aware that he was canceled? Or did he rule that if you cancel two of the ten, the other, the additional eight are still viable witnesses to sign? Right? Which one did he rule? Om Rav Yosef. So Rav Yosef says, Nezianam. Let us see. Ki Osir Abdimi, when Rav Dimi had come, Om Masiv, Osir Rebbe, Kedibre Chachomi. Rav Dimi had come, you know, the, we had this institution, you know, the, the Amoroim, they would travel to Lovell and Eretz Yisrael. So when he came back from Eretz Yisrael, Rebbe was in Eretz Yisrael, Rav Yosef was in, uh, was in, was above him. Okay? So he said, when Rav Dimi had come back, Oma Masiv, also Rebbe Kedibri Chachomim. He rules like the Chachomim, that we don't say, Makoch Bezden Yotem. Meaning we say, once a ruling is given, we don't undo the ruling. We'll see in a moment. So when he heard him say that, 
Reproto, the son of Rep, Lozim and Proto, Ben Benoshel Reproto Agodol, the grandson of Imkei Makok, He says, if you're telling me that even if you go against the court, against the Takona, it's valid. He says, so, so what's the value of, of, the, of, the, of the law that was legislated by the Chachomim? Bechoza Rebbe, Oskim Shim Gamliel. So Rebbe retracted, and he concluded Rebbe Shim Gamliel. Over there, we're speaking about a monetary case. Okay? A monetary case. Wait, 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 wait. Tosis later asked a question. But he's drawing, a, uh, he's drawing a parallel, although there was monetary, it was Hefke Bez and Hefke issue. So according to the Chachamim, we say, even though you say Hefker, 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 that even if you did not follow the legislation of the Chazal, it's valid. Shemuel says, no, it's not valid, because otherwise, what's the value of the Chachamim? Okay? So it says, Rebbe retracted, and he followed with Shem Gamliel. One second. Yeah. So what do we see? So he, he's following the position. So therefore, why did Rishim Ben Gamliel say that if you cancel the agent not in his presence, why is it not a valid cancellation? Because he says, I mean, Chazal said you're not permitted to cancel the agent if it's not known to him because he's going to deliver the cat. Rebbe says it is valid. Now Rebbe is saying, if that's the case, which are exactly the words of Rishim Gamliel. Rishim Gamliel says, you know, we do, we know the marriage. The get goes forward. Of course, it'll be rabbinical, but she's permitted to remarry when she receives the get. So we see that Reb Shim, that Rebbe, he actually retracted from his position and he follows Reb Shim Gamliel. So Mara says, Umid Hor Shim Gamliel. So if he rules Reb Shim Gamliel in that instance, Achke Rebbe said, we rule like Rebbe in regard to, we don't say Edish above Mitzos above Lekula, that if he appoints ten witnesses, that every one of the qualified, he canceled two of them, the, the, the remaining eight are still qualified to sign on the get. Right? Because in, in regard to the case of canceling the agent on his presence, we see Rebbe follows the position of Shim Gamliel. And since in one instance he ruled like Rebbe, so it must be the other instance where he cancels two, that the other eight remain functional witnesses. Well, why do we hold that, that, uh, that the first issue of canceling the agent, not canceling from the agent, that Rebbe holds that? Why, why is it not the, the other rule? Because the, the, the other rule has not to do with my koch best in the offer. Oh, it's not? No, it's oh, not. No, no, it has not to do with my bad. Do we say the Yiddish about Mitzvah is about Lakula or not? Uh, oh, right. So then Lewis did. Has not. He used the term. It's not because you're not following the, the, uh -huh. the takana. Okay, yeah. The, right, the legislation of, of the rabbinic legislation. Okay? Throughout the Gemara, you can't find things in terms to establish the credibility of a person. Mm -hmm. You find there's certain people in the Gemara, somebody said something, he says, maybe he's not credible, although he's quoting. But if you if you follow his line, his lineage, and you see who he is, that he he's not simply a person named his name, Reprota, who's Reprota? But this is Reprota, the son, the grandson, therefore, that is this Reprota, when he says something, it's credible. It's to give a credibility. We see that it was sufficient. Rebbe retracted because of this. The credibility of this of the of the fact was established so so uh, succinctly. Rebbe says, if that's the case, I retract. Yeah, 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 yeah. By over there. By Rabbi Yosha, Musha, Sova. He says Rabbi Yosha who came from Musha, which was a community in Bovel. Sova. Chadok Rebbe and Chadok Rishim Gamliel. Also, he rules in one instance like Rebbe got this like Rishim Gamliel. What was the story? Dama Rabba Babrachono, Hamisha Sabi Havina Kamid Rabbi Yoshio. There were five elders in the presence of Rabbi Yoshio. The Minusho, Rabbi Yoshio. Evidently, were a number of Rabbi Yoshios. This was Rabbi Yoshio who came from Usha. Osa Ugavro Kamei Vashkle Gito Al Korchi. This person had come and Rabbi. Yoshef from Musha, he actually, he coerced the person, he forced him to give a get to his wife. 
supposed to, and, and that means and the, to appoint these agents to sign on the get. So what happens if, if what, what could he do? He could cancel them, right? Yeah. You force me. You think you're going to force me? And a minute later, I'll, I'll cancel them out. So listen to what he says. So Rabbi Yoshio, meaning the Usha, is overseeing this, this whole process. Omar him, he says to the to these Hamisha Sabi, these five elders who were there who were appointed to be the witnesses, at Muru, the Kisulo, he says, go into hiding and write the get. Mm-hmm. Why? Because if they're, it's in their presence, he says, I cancel you people. But if it's not in their presence, the cancellation has no value. But if you hold, like Rebbe, even on the presence, the cancellation has value. So why do Rebbe Yoshim and Usha say, go into hiding? Because, because evidently, if he follows the position of Shim Gamliel, that canceling an agent, not in his presence, is not a valid can- cancellation. Okay? These so could die to Rebbe. So the Mara says, but if Rebbe Yoshim or Usha follows the position of Rebbe, he meet through my havo, have Even if they go into hiding, what's its value? Rebbe says, even although you're not supposed to, you're not permitted to cancel an agent if he's not, it's not in his presence, but factually, post facto, it's a valid cancellation. So what was the value of Rabbi Yoshi Avusha telling the agents, the witnesses, to go into hiding? El Shmabi knows, it's a conclusive proof. Kripshim Gliel Svirlai. That Rabbi Yoshi Avusha, he whole, he concurs with what? He follows the position of Rabbi Shim Gamaliel. These sold the Daidach Eidach Nam Kripshim Gamaliel, and if you're going to say, that in regard to the other argument, he follows Rav Shem Gamliel. Lama, stop. Lama luhula at murek. Why do they have to go to hiding? Live to rule with durek. We're going. We said. We said before. You have the ten man rule. The way they're appointed, that's the way they have to be canceled. Let's say they they disperse. They don't go into hiding. And he finds each two of them. I cancel you. I cancel you. It's irrelevant. They all have to be canceled in the same setting that they were appointed. So why do they have to tell them to go into hiding? He should just say, just scatter. By scattering would be enough. Elishmami no. So from there we see Chaduk Rebbe, the Chaduk Shem Gamliel. That in one instance he rules like Rebbe, and the other Shem Gamliel. In terms of tell him to go to hiding, that he's ruling Shem Gamliel. The cancellation is not valid. And Rebbe, that although they were appointed uh, simultaneously, all ten of them, all five of them. You're able to cancel them, each of them, not in the presence of the other. If you cancel all of them, so if we had to tell him to go into hiding, because he, he, he accumulates them, he follows every one of them, and he says, "You're canceled. You're canceled. They're all canceled." But according to Shimon Lil, they're not all canceled because you have the ten-man rule or the five-man rule. And he didn't cancel mm-hmm. them as they were appointed. They weren't unappointed as they were appointed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Tosis asks a question, very interesting question. Review. Go ahead. The wife wasn't there at all. The wife wasn't here. Here, the five witnesses were there, and he says, disappear. Immediately, disappear before the man cancels you. So the wife is not, is not here. So he didn't have to tell the wife to go into hiding. The wife is not here. You're right. If the wife would have been there, it, it would have been a problem. No, but I mean, ultimately, these men have to go to the wife. No, no. So the, well, the men going to the wife is not a problem. As long as the husband can locate the witnesses or the wife. So the, wit- the, the witnesses were there. So he, they had to say, you have to go into hiding. The wife, evidently, she was somewhere else. This man, this husband, is going to move heaven and earth to try to avoid the gift. Okay. Because he was coerced in the first place. Correct. So we, we have to assume that he's going to be searching for these witnesses. So yeah, but by the, the time he finds them, it's too late already. Firstly, they have to be all together. No, see, he holds like Rebbe. He'll, he'll find them, but by the time he finds them, it's too late. The get, the get it would have been given already. So the shortcut would be all directed to the wife. He, evidently, the wife's not accessible to him. Right. See, he doesn't have to tell her to hide because she's in hiding. 
The witnesses who had to be appointed by him initially, they weren't in hiding. So therefore, they, they were there. So he says, you, you people go into hiding. No, but Tosis asks an interesting question. Rav Yosef proves before that we rule like Shimon Gamliel, that Rebbe retracted. And we say that unless you cancel the agent in his presence, it's not a valid cancellation. Correct? Mm-hmm. So Tosis says, Avogav, it's the uh, third Tosis on the page. Om Rav Yosef Nerzi Anan. Avogav, the Rav Yosef Yisle Hoch, the Bitle Even the Bordeaux. Right? Even though he holds that the cancellation is not a valid cancellation, falls over Shimon Gamliel. Komer Rav Yosef, Berkam de Kedushin, the Rav Man Geraman de Matl Gito. He's asking a good question. It says, Rav, if a person would cancel an agent not in his presence, Rav would give, lash would flog that person, the husband. But if he's, he's asking, and this is where Yosef says over, oh, that Rav would, would flog the person. So evidently, Rav agrees. Rav Yosef agrees, but if we're saying the cancellation is not valid, why flog the man? Right? So I would have answered differently. Because I would have answered, because factually, we have to come up to King Rav and Right? That's what the Gemara says. I mean, if the man canceled, how do we go through with the gifts? The answer is we have to know the marriage. You know, it's not something we, we, it's not something we want to do. It comes out, all the children were born out of wedlock, right, retroactively, because we know the marriage. So therefore, you flog the man for what, for doing the wrong thing. But those is something else. Because actually, he's causing... Um, is causing people to question the validity of the get. Factually, the kids are not Mamsir. But the man's going to tell the, tell the world, I cancel them, therefore the get has no value. Even though halakhli, he does, but what does the world know? So he's causing um, aspersion. aspersion on the get, which causes now the ch- children to come into question. Therefore, that's why we flog him. Okay? So it's like you find, halakh is, Rab says, halakh is a woman could be uh, married through cohabitation. But a first who, who married a woman in such a manner, madam kadesh b'shuka obedio, because it's not if you could do it through giving something of value or a document. What, what do you have to do? You have people wait outside, and you say, "I'm going to go consummate the mar- marry the woman through cohabitation." It's not. It's not the way to do it. No, it's not the appropriate way. Even though factually it's valid, so Rav would, would give lashes, would flog that person who would behave this way. Similar, because it's not appropriate. Avogav the Leki Sura, there's no way, sir. Okay? What? We're saying the get itself is not cancelled. So why do you flog the man who cancels the get? Actually, it's irrelevant. Falls, what he says, his uh, cancellation falls on deaf ears. So why flog him? But we, we don't pay attention to him. So the answer is because he's multi laws. Okay. Further. So we have two positions. Rababa says we rule like Rebbe in one instance and like Rebbe Shimonli on the other instance. Rabbi Yosha, the Min Usha, also rule like Rabbi in one instance and Rashi in the other. Rabbi Amar Rabbi Nachlon, Rabbi said the name of Rabbi Nachlon, Halacha Karebi Bishteim. We rule like Rabbi in both, and this is the Halacha, that the cancellation is a cancellation, even not in the presence of the agent, and if you cancel two of the ten, the, the remaining eight are still qualified to be aiding. Okay? Somebody has a question. The last lady, the Rav Nachman, I call it best in I mean, Rav Nachman doesn't accept this principle of I call it best in that if once the court is empowered, you can't undermine the position of the court, the, the, the legislation of the court, of the Chazal. It's not a decree. It's a Chazal. They said that you, Chazal factually, even Rav said you should not cancel an agent only in his presence. Right. The man says, to me, it's irrelevant. So that means you're ignoring, you're undermining the power of the court. He says, you mean to say, Rav Nachman doesn't, doesn't, doesn't accept this. Rav Nachman is Shmuel. Rav Nachman said the name of Shmuel. You saw Shmuel lach with Binus Le'avim. Minors. A minor himself, his decision has no value, correct? So what do you have? You have court-appointed uh, administrators 
and they represent the miners. Right? That's well, that's what they do. Yisom shabo lachlo binichsevim. You want they want to divide up the, the estate when they're still miners. Bezdin mamidl and apitropis. Bezdin they appoint they establish apitropis is an administrator, a representative which represents each of the miners. Oborod lem chelik yofer. And each one, based on his understanding, chooses what he feels in the, is the best interest of each minor. And each apitropis is acting in the best interest of what he believes to that minor. What, but he may believe it's in his best interest. What happens to Dilu? What happens now these minors become adults and they're not agreeable that with the decision of the one who represented them, Yechon Nimchos, they can actually protest the decision of the apitropis, of the appoint, court, court appointed administrator. Okay? That's what it said, that's what Shmuel had said. Rav Nachman Diday, Omar, for Rav Nachman, personally, his opinion was, that once the court appointed uh, administrators chose the portions for the minors, even though today they disagree, they feel they would have done it differently, we don't follow their uh, rejection. Why? If that's the case, so what's the value of, of the court? If the court's appoint, appointees could be ultimately uh, dis- they're disqualified or rejected, so wh- wh- what's the value of the court? Initially, they won't give it any sufficient value because ultimately it, it could be undone. So what do we see clearly? That Rav Nachman accepts the principle of Makor Vez So how does Rav Nachman say that you're, he rules like Rebbe that you're able to cancel the agent not in his presence where Rav Shimuel says, Makor Vez that's the reason why you cannot. So we see he does accept this principle of Makor Vez But in the case of this, this case, it's minor. So someone has to be a representative for the minor at that time, and then they become a girl. We're not saying no. We're not saying no. The question is after the court, the facts that the ones who made the decisions were court appointed administrators. Correct. So they were empowered by the court. Correct. Now you're saying what the court did. Their, their decisions have no value. But I'm saying maybe it has to do with the variable of them becoming adults now. And that, that doesn't make a difference. But well, what are they undoing? But well, what are they undoing? What's the concept of Makor Bezniyofi? People will not take what, what the initial decision s- seriously because ultimately they could undo it. So therefore the court's appointment means nothing. So what we see Rav uh, Nachman accepts this principle. So if that's the case, how does he rule when you cancel the shliach that the cancellation is valid. The court said it's not valid. That was the legislation. On that, to my answer, it's Mamona Hochi Sura. There, it's purely monetary. It's dividing an estate. Here, it's Isra because this question is annulling the marriage. Okay, let's understand something. But it's also Mamona. Before the Gemara differentiated, we say Hefke Bezna, Rosh says, because here, it's Hefke Bezna Hefke. The court, they deem the, the, the money ownerless, so therefore, they have no say in regard to the estate. So they, they could also, they deem the money ownerless, and therefore the money the husband gave to the wife wasn't his, wasn't his money. It's also happy he doesn't have to. No, they're not children. No. You have to, so it's not, if you read Rashi, Hefke doesn't have to, right? Over there, it's also Hefke doesn't have to. The difference is, it's because what are the ramifications to Hefke doesn't have to? Here, the ramification is limited to monetary. There, we're undoing a marriage. So that's what it means, Isura. Because there, the effect, the consequence, it changes the Isra uh, status. That's where we say, to, to undo there, we don't. We, the marriage is, is intact. We're not going to undo a marriage. But it's just a question of shifting money where it begins and ends with that, that we will do. No, no. It, it, it's all opinions. I, I wanted the southern uh, exposure, not the northern exposure. Because he has a right. The whole concept is Zohar Lohan Mishul Bifanov. That's the Mark Kedusha. You want to do what's in bed. The man says, you didn't do what's in my best interest. Well, I, uh, my, I intended to do what inten- intentions are not, not necessarily the correct uh, decision. Correct. Okay. So why would Shmuel have allowed the orphans 
I don't understand. What about what about the argument Rebbe and Rabbi Shimon Gamliel in regard to uh, uh, canceling the agent? Rebbe says, although there was a legislation, he should not cancel the agent. Rebbe says, factually, if he does, it's canceled. Shimon Gamliel says, what about the power of the court? You're undermining the power of the court. That, that's exactly what Shimon Gamliel said. And because of that, we say we annul the marriage, not to undermine the power of the court. And here, Rav Nachman himself says, we, do, we don't rule like Rav Gamliel. We do act, although we're undermining the power of the court. And here, Rav, Shem Galil, uh, Rav, Rav Nachman said, we don't undermine the power of the court. Because there's a difference between cases. In the case of uh, undermining the power of the court when it comes to revoking witnesses, Midoraisa is witness. And so we have to come home to the annulment of the word of the marriage in the first place. That's the only thing that Chazal can do in the face of it. They cannot say the get is that in the man. But they say Hefka Bez and Hefka. They have to say Hefka Bez and Hefka too. If the concept of uh, securing a respect and uh, of, of Chazal, that they're empowered to legislate and you can't ignore their legislation, that's the whole idea. You can't undermine the power. So what difference makes if it's regarding dividing a piece of property, dividing an estate, or canceling the agent? No, I'm just saying of a law. The court can all day long say you are not permitted to revoke witnesses in the case of a divorce. But that man, Midoraisa, has the ability to do this. Midoraisa, it works. Okay. In the case of the orphans, the orphans can protest all day long. But once the court says that this is the way the division is going to work, that's the end of it. Why? Because it's end no, it's not true. It's purely rabbinical. It's rabbinical. Because on a Torah level, you can't... It has to work within the context of agency. A minor cannot have an agent. Right? Caught up the agent, the administrator represents the, the, the child. On a Torah level, is not, not a representative. Hefke bez and hefke. Hefke bez and hefke. Without Hefke bez and Hefke, the court, the community has to support, and later we're going to collect from the estate when they become when they become adults, and we leave the state undivided. The state should the state should remain undivided until the orphans are old enough. Until they become adults. This is only to 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 uh, to uh, alleviate certain issues. <coughs> they have to be supported, whatever else it may be. But that's based on Hefka and Hefka. Rav Nachman personally doesn't rule like Shmuel. Yeah, we rule like Shmuel. We rule like Shmuel. I understand that. We rule like no. We rule like Shmuel. They they they, they what? No, we rule like Rav Nachman and Yichol and Yimkos. Makor and Yofer. Rav Shmuel. Rav Shmuel. This is Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman is a basro. The orphans cannot protest. That's the way we rule. We rule they cannot protest. Although Rav Nachman rules in regard to annulling the agent, canceling the agent, if they cancel, the agent is canceled. When we say Makoch, we have to uphold the honor of the court, the honor of Chazal. We will get there.